Hey guys, how you doing? This is Eric's here. Just got a quick fix for you guys that have been getting the failed to launch rad slash system slash rad user kernel with .exe error. Uh, it happened to my friend the other night and we spent about an hour trawling the internet to find the solution. Uh, we had we did try a couple of methods, they didn't seem to work for us. It might work for you, you might want to try it. It could be a bit easier than downloading this file. Um, is it, I'm not sure if it's a big file or what, but uh, we tried to delete the uh, actual file kernel .exe from the folder and then re-download it from a specific thing. I'll also link that below but I wouldn't I wouldn't advise trying that. I mean if it doesn't work the file that I'm giving you right now then try that. But uh, what, what we found to work was the Microsoft Visual C++ 2005 SP1. This was from a League of Legends uh, forums website I think. So I'm not taking credit for figuring this out or anything. But just letting you guys know that there is a solution to this problem. And it doesn't include. It doesn't mean you have to re-download LOL, which it did look like we were going to have to do, but we finally found this. So yeah, once you've got the uh, file downloaded, it just run it. It'll be fine. It shouldn't give you any hot bars or anything nasty like that. Once you've done that, you should be able to just restart your computer and then reopen LOL, and it should work fine. Then it start updating and all that stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Give you uh, if it works, give me a subscribe, give me something, uh, give me a like. That's that's awesome. If you guys do that. Hope I've helped you out. If I haven't, then let me know. I'll try and figure it out.